so far we've seen formal mathematical definitions of normal form games and various kinds of strategies and strategy profiles um, and we've talked in informal terms in the examples about how some things are better for the players than others uh, we haven't yet seen any formal definition of what it means for strategy to be optimal in any sense um, and the reason is that that's a very subtle question and there are multiple different possible answers and we're going to spend the, basically the entirety of next week looking at answers to that question uh, this is of course unlike the uh, the situation where you have a single objective function in which it's completely trivial to say uh, what does it mean to be optimal it means that you optimize the objective uh, and then the hard question is then how do you compute the optimum in in game theory we have a a trickier conceptual question up front which is what does it even mean to be optimal when you have several objectives um so in this video we're looking at Pareto optimality which is um one of several answers for what it means for a strategy profile to be optimal uh, this isn't the main one the main one is called a Nash equilibrium which will be the subject of a few videos next week um, so we start off with a a relationship between two strategy profiles called Pareto domination so we say that uh, one strategy profile uh, Pareto dominates another one if two conditions hold one is that um, every player thinks it's at least as good so x Pareto dominates y if every player finds uh, x at least as good as y and at least one player thinks that x is strictly better than y okay uh, so this means that in in some sense x is strictly better than y because it makes things strictly better for someone without making things worse than anyone else so this is kind of everybody can agree that x is better than y or at least not worse than y um, and we can do the same we can make the same def definition from this is for pure strategy profiles we can do the same thing for mixed strategy profiles if we use expected utility instead of utility um, okay now we want to say that a strategy profile is going to be called Pareto optimal if there is no other strategy profile that Pareto dominates it uh, so there's uh, a couple of ways you can think about this. One is that uh, Pareto domination, the relation of Pareto domination is defining a sort of relation on, um, on, on strategy profiles. I'm going to draw some pictures of this coming up like this. Um, and so being Pareto optimal says that it's maximal in the Pareto order. Um, and the Pareto order is a partial order, so it can, it can have multiple different maxima. Um, they're not they're not kind of linearly ordered um, so a a um, kind of more intuitive um, unpacked definition of what it means to be Pareto optimal is that any stretch any other strategy profile that's better for one player must be worse for some other player so that means that you're kind of glo globally optimal in the sense that you can't make things better somewhere without making things worse somewhere else uh, so this is kind of in contrast with the main definition we're seeing next week, which is Nash equilibrium, which is about individual optimality. Pareto optimality is kind of global or social in some sense. Okay, um, now I'm just going to go through some examples of this so you see what it looks like. Uh, so here's prison's dilemma. Um, so here are the four strategy profiles of prison's dilemma, uh, and I've written the 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 payoffs for the two players next to it um so here this arrow means that the profile cc corporate corporate pareto dominates defect defect because you can see um well in fact uh, it is in fact better for both players it would be enough that it's better for at least one player um on the other hand there are no other pairs of strategy profiles here that have this relationship so for example going from here to here from dd to dc uh, makes things better for player one because you go from one to three but you make things worse for player two because you go from one to zero um, and you will find that if you try to 
if you try to uh, check this relationship for any other pair, you'll find that this does not hold. Um, so what does this mean? Well, it means that the profile DD is not Pareto optimal because it's Pareto dominated by CC. The other three pure strategy profiles are all Pareto optimal because they're not Pareto dominated by anything. So when you draw this kind of picture, being Pareto optimal kind of means you're not the source of any error. So DC and CD are kind of isolated there. They don't Pareto dominate anything and they're not Pareto dominated by anything, but that makes them Pareto optimal. So in particular, you can be Pareto optimal without Pareto dominating anything else. Okay, um, matching pennies, um, you will find that all strategy profiles are Pareto optimal. None of these Pareto dominates anything else, um, which makes them all optimal. So this is a this is a kind of um, failure of Pareto optimality to be a kind of good measure of optimal because in this example it tells you absolutely nothing. It says like everything is just as good. Just kind of reflecting the the kind of symmetry or circularity of this game. Um, Okay, here's, here's um, Battle of the Sexes. Um, and the so reminder that the arrow means that the target is Pareto dominating the source. Um, so we'll find that, um, so this is the, this was the really terrible outcome where both players go alone to their less, to their less favorite place. That's Pareto dominated by everything. Um, this is the one where, um, both players go alone to their favorite place and they are both uh, that's pretty dominated by both of the two coordinated profiles and then the two coordinated profiles uh, both of these are pretty optimal okay and finally these are our, our last two examples um, so in the stag hunt um, we will find that both players hunting stag uh, Pareto dominates everything else, and so it is the only Pareto optimal strategy. Um, then in chicken, we will find that mutual destruction is kind of obviously Pareto dominated by everything else. The three other strategies uh, are all Pareto optimal. <laughs>